Hello, my name is Jason Smith and I'm the Outbound Product Manager for ITOM Visibility at ServiceNow. Today we're going to show you how we use machine learning to make service maps. Getting started with machine learning driven mapping is very simple with ServiceNow. The first step is to set up discovery schedules so that you can find the configuration items in your public cloud and on-premises environments. Once we get the data into the CMDB, machine learning can start to take action. So there's two major things that are going to happen. One, we will use the data to identify applications running in an environment, and we'll use a technique called application fingerprinting. And then we will not only understand the connections between the applications, but also the importance of the connections between applications, and that will assist you greatly in making your service maps. Once we get the applications and services in place, then we will make sure that we are conforming with the common service data model, and we'll use that to power multiple workflows. To set up the discovery schedules, you can navigate to Discovery Home and then Schedules. And in this case, I've got several different schedules already set here. Some of them are IP-based and some of them are public cloud-based. So if I want to edit one of these, just click on that. And I can choose a mid-server. The account information is already set up. I could be using AWS IAM roles instead of this account information in this fashion. but what I want to do is discover all of these data centers and all of the configuration items in those data centers. And then importantly, I would like to discover uh, the virtual machines. So what's happening is we're doing a public cloud discovery, getting all the IP addresses, and then we're doing a deep dive discovery on all of the servers running in that virtual environment. As part of the server discovery process, we're picking up processes running on machine and all of the TCP connections that the processes are making. That information is sent over to machine learning for analysis, and the result is that many of the applications running in the environment have now been fingerprinted by machine learning. In addition to doing application fingerprinting, the entry points to the application services are also discovered. So in this case, we've got 25 different entry points. I'll open up one of these, and I can see that this was an HA proxy running at this IP address, load balancer. So most likely this load balancer is in front of an application service. So let's click on discover, start that process, and then I will go to the application services. This is the one we just created in that fashion. Let's take a look at the map. It says it's in progress. Okay, so the initial pass is done. So what we have here is the HA proxy, and then we've got two homegrown applications that were originally identified by application fingerprinting. And I can open this and look at the connection suggestions. I want, I can add those. And I will add them to the map. And then if there's more connection suggestions, I could look here. In this case, there's two more. Let's go ahead and add those. Okay. So now we've got a map of a microservice application that's talking to different uh, database servers on different machines. You could change the view here and look at the host view if I want. It's two different servers at play here. Okay, very easy to make these maps with the machine learning assisted help. So I'm now satisfied with the application service map and would like to bring it into the common service data model. So go into the navigator, find the common service data model, application, Scroll down to Manage Technical Services, Application Service, and then we can see this is the service that we just mapped. Open that one up. Let's give it a better name. Call it Learning. And I would like to connect this application service to a business service offering. And then it's a matter of just following the wizard, updating that. Okay, so let's take a look at the dependency view. And we have a top level business service called Shenandoah. And under Shenandoah, I have a technical service offering and a business service offering. This is the service offering for education. And then here is our application service called Learning. And I can drill into that. And take a look at the uh, eventual related services like Linux or this application service that we mapped here. So when I click here, that's all of the components that are being used by that service. And I can drill into the application service itself. So 
very easy to get the services mapped with the help of machine learning. We're identifying the applications through application fingerprinting. We're identifying the important connections between the applications to make up the application service and then getting ultimately a good conformance with the common service data model. Thank you.